For the first time, an international recathlon tournament was part of the nationwide tournament series in Austria, Babola Austrian Championships. The 16th Austrian Open Graz Super World Tour Finals. This event, the largest on the FIR Recathlon World Tour beside the World Championships, brought several firsts. A new group format that added excitement was introduced in the elite categories. Ähnlich dem ATP Masters in Tennis, wo die besten Spieler in Gruppen antreten. Insgesamt hatten wir fast 100 Spieler aus 17 Nationen heuer dabei beim Turnier. Und wir hoffen, dass wir dies salonfähig machen können für das nächste Jahr, wo wir am Ende des Jahres ein echtes Masters mit den besten Spielern im Racketlon planen. Das neue Turnierformat, dass eine Gruppe gespielt wird, somit jeder gegen jeden spielt, finde ich einen guten Ansatz. Somit hebt man die Qualität der einzelnen Spieler und man hat die Möglichkeit, gegen jede Gegnerin äh, zu spielen, was im Racketlon manchmal sehr wichtig ist, weil es kommt oft auf das Profil drauf an, also welche Sportart die stärkste der ist und so kann man im Vornherein nicht immer sagen, wer gegen wen gewinnt. The winner of the Holding Graz Women A Elite Singles was the world number one, Anna Clara Alma from Sweden. Yeah, I am uh, very happy. Uh, it wasn't easy. So uh, I'm Floor, which I played in the final. Uh, she's really strong in badminton, so I knew it's going to be a tough match. So I'm very happy that I came through with a win. A prize money of 1000 euros for the male winner and 550 euros for the female champion were awarded. Additionally, the organizer, Racketland Federation Austria, covered the accommodation and travel costs of the top elite players. I think that's a really good thing uh, and should be encouraged by more tournaments because it's a very cost, big cost for us to travel around. And I think in case there is no prize money or a little bit less prize money, I think it it gets more players get a little bit to cover their costs if you do it in this way instead of having prize money that maybe goes to a few players but yeah the, this can be a good thing to do in the future i think the record launch up man a elite event was won by the finnish squash specialist henrik mustonen who defeated the frenchman Sylvain ternon in the final by a margin of plus two points yeah thanks very much uh... It's uh, obviously the first time I played Sylvan and, uh, and I was expecting it to be really tough because our sports go a little bit against each other's sports and, uh, and he surprised me in, in tennis. He was really strong in tennis, which uh, I was kind of hoping that would be my strong sport. And he started really well and I, I started to be a little bit scared already. But uh, luckily in the end I managed to get uh, the points that I needed and, uh, and win the match and, uh, and win, win the whole tournament. Thanks to the use of weblivescore.com, the scores of all tournament matches could be followed live. Furthermore, the action from the center court in Graz was streamed live all weekend on streamster.tv with commentator Markus Poschanik. We are very happy with the Abwicklung heuer erstmals Web Live Score auf allen Courts mit Schiedsrichtern und äh, auf dem Center Court 1 äh, Livestreaming das gesamte Wochenende mit Kommentator. RFA and ERU President Marcel Weigel played his final Elite Singles Tournament in Graz. Ja, 2002 wurde die vier World Tour im Racketlon in, ins Leben gerufen. Seit 2002 war ich dabei. Jedes Jahr habe ich zumindest ein Spiel auf der World Tour gespielt und damit war ich 22 Jahre durchgehend im Einsatz. Diesmal das letzte Turnier, gleich mit einem neuen Format. Und ich habe das Ziel erreicht, ich wollte einen Einzelsieg landen und nicht letzter werden. Und das ist mir gelungen. The feedback from the participants regarding the venue at Racket Sports Center Graz was once again very positive this year. I would say like in, in Austria it's always like good playing conditions. Uh, you always put up with such a nice center court areas and with the live stream it's fantastic. So all, all credit to you because it's always when you know when you come to Austria it's always good quality on, on the court. So that's a good thing. Yes, yeah, so I actually played the tournament here last year, the World Championships for uh, teams and doubles. 
but this was the first time I played the singles tournament. I really enjoyed the tournament uh, back then because the organization was so good and, uh, and everything was working as it was supposed to. So I wanted to come back and, uh, and try my wings on the singles circuit and, and luckily I did. And, uh, and again the organization was really good, everything was working so well. There were live streams, live scoring and people back home could support me and uh, give me strength to, to make it uh, to the final and in the end win the whole, whole tournament. Subscribe to our channel for more Racketlon content. See you soon!